In this video, I'm going to show you how to put some nice effects around different layers. So this could be used for images, and it can also be used for text. So it can pretty much be used on any layer. So what I'm going to show you, first of all, is how to get this outline effect, which is called a stroke. And also, as you can see in the text here, and on this section slightly here, you can see that it's actually got, as well as over here, a drop shadow. So it just looks a little bit more like it's coming off the page. So what we're going to do is go into our album cover document, and you right-click on the layer that you want to put the effects on first. And in this case, I'm going to do the word mix first, and I'm going to go to blending options. And what this allows you to do, if I drag this over to here, it allows you to add different effects. And there's lots and lots and lots of different effects which you can try and experiment with at any time you want. And you can see those here. But the ones that we're going to focus on first are stroke. So I'm going to click on stroke. And what I want to do is make sure that the blend mode is normal. And I want to change the color. You can have any color you want, any color you want whatsoever. But I'm going to have a white one, like that. And I might change the thickness, if I press OK there, to about 5. We'll see how that looks. Yeah, 5 seems better. And that's all I need for the stroke. So it's just an outline, and it makes it stand out a bit better. So if I go to Drop Shadow now at the bottom, which is the second one that I want to do, first of all, I'm going to change the Blend Mode to Normal. And the colour, you can use any colour you want really, but black or any of these darker colours are better, because that's typically what colour a shadow would be. And I'm going to change the distance of, if I drag the slider up there, you can see how far, so it's almost as if how far away from the page is the text, that's what we mean by distance, so how far the shadow will go. So I'm going to, and I don't want it too much, I want it to about there. Now the spread is, if I drag it out here, it shows that it's more, uh, it basically makes it look more clear the more you do. But a shadow isn't typically sharp straight edges like that, it's actually quite faded. So I'm going to leave it like that. And the size is where it makes it look more of a shadow in my opinion because you can just change how sort of distinct it is. So you can experiment with that for yourself. I'm not going to give you any definite m amounts that you need to have but that's how we do the stroke and the drop shadow. Now I want you to do this not only for the word mix but I also want you to use it for the word little as well. But there's a few variations that you'll need to change on there if we look at the original. And also, I want you to try and add a drop shadow to this image as well.